Hello everybody, this is Michael with JNM RV Rentals. We're in the shop today with our 05 Rockwood. We have a Dometic RM2193 here that is not cooling under 110 volt anymore. The other day, while plugging it in via shore power, I heard a, a few ticks, almost like a, the heat of a hot exhaust pipe ticking and no longer was cooling on 110 volt. Now it works fine on 12 volt and propane only. This is a very simple system. There's no circuit boards really. It's mainly just power to the switch to a heating element. And we're gonna show you now how to test for voltage and if you have voltage, how to go ahead and replace the heating element. First step is to remove these two screws to access the wires for the 110 volt switch. Once the screws are removed, just slide it out and set it off to the side. For this step, your trailer needs to be plugged into shore power. You will need a multimeter put on AC current. Go ahead and take the probes and test the two, and you will see you have one. 15 volts. That can determine that you are getting power to the switch and that in fact the heating element is at fault. Now that we have tested the voltage, please disconnect shore power and turn off any battery cutoff switches as we are going to go into the electrics of the refrigerator. You're going to start by removing this panel the two screws in the back here and then accessing the wires for this green 110 volt switch. Once you remove the two screws for the plate you'll see it is now loose. Next you're going to want to remove propane line. Now make sure your propane system is disconnected or at least your bottle turned off for safety. Now that we have the propane line removed you go ahead and pull back this lightly as to not damage the thermocouple wire. You will see here, following the two whites and the light green, follow up to here and then to here. This is the 110 volt heating element. That's what we are going to be changing out today. Looking at the new part here, we're going to have three wires. Green is going to be ground. The white wire here is going to be for the thermostat. And this will be the lead from the switch. Let's go ahead and get into stalling. So if you follow the wires down, like I said, the two whites and the green will indicate the one 10 volt burner, which in this case is this front one. Now this tube starts here and comes all the way down into the flue. So you'll need to fish that all the way out and replace it with a new one. The next step, probably the most difficult, is splitting of the burner pipe. You see it has a lip that hooks onto the adjacent side. You'll need to squeeze it or use a flathead screwdriver, press in the lip and pry out. Once you have that removed, you can access the burner pipe or the heating element, excuse me. Here you can see the tube that the burner or the heating element will slip in and out of. It goes right in like that. You just need to slip it out all the way up and replace it with a new one. Now we place the heating element in the tube. We went ahead and buttoned back up just by pressing the flathead and then hooking it back in. Now we're going over to the switch and start the wiring. As I mentioned before, we have green for ground. It goes on the side here. White goes to the thermostat. And then this goes to the switch, to the power. After we connect that, we will button back up this control panel, go ahead and put the propane lines together, test everything. And there you have it. After the cover is put back on, you can go ahead and plug in your propane, double check for any leaks, and go ahead and plug in your system. You will want to plug it in, shore power, probably test it for about, I'd say at least four hours. You want to feel for heat coming from the burner pipe off to the side as well as up at the vent in the back of the refrigerator.
This is probably the most common issue, if not the only issue, when not running on 110 volt. So before you decide to throw away your three-way fridge, take a look at how easy it can be to fix it yourself. This is Michael from JNM RV Rentals. Thank you.